I hope you don't mind if I have a puff of tuna cigarette. I get so emotional and things are going great. <laughs> I suppose you notice we have a lot of microphones here tonight, and I must explain that to you so you won't be alarmed. Uh, portions of our show are being taped for the armed forces. <laughs> What's so funny about that? How are we going to win a war? <laughs> How are you winning it now? Just thought I'd let you in on it, that's all. <laughs> How to Meet a Girl. Well, that's in my new book coming out, Sex and the Dull Man. <laughs> it's a very big book, 365 blank pages. <laughs> this book is sort of a guide for a dull man, how to give himself an exciting image. The first step in, in giving yourself an exciting image is to give yourself an exciting nickname. You have to get rid of those dull names like Harry, Joe, Bill, Sam, Clyde. There's so many great nicknames to choose from. Tiller the Hun. <laughs> Zorba the Greek. My friends call me Mr. Wonderful. And then you have to cultivate a hip vocabulary. Leave people know you've been around. Such exciting phrases as... How's the missus? <laughs> Would I lie to you? If you ain't tried it, don't knock it. Say hello to the little lady. Now here you are packed with all this power. Where do you use it? Well, the beach is a very good place to meet a girl, especially in the winter. It's less competition. Now, here you are, the dull man, about to try out my system, and there's a beautiful girl at the edge of the water. How do you approach it? Well, the first approach should be kind of a shock thing to get her attention. I would suggest as you go by her, you hum or mumble an innuendo type song. Something like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Birds do it, bees do it. Mm -hmm. Hi there. What time is the ocean closed? <laughs> if she ignores you, you'll have to come on a bit stronger. You might try putting around the sand with your big toe and saying, I seem to have lost my Congressional Medal of Honor here somewhere. <laughs> oh, well, I have another one at home. Another very good place to meet a girl is on a cruise. There's an air of excitement out at sea. And she'd probably be in a deck chair. Hi there. You live around here? <laughs> nice neighborhood, but it keeps changing. You believe in omens? Isn't that the captain out there in a the lifeboat? You never know where it'll happen. I once met a girl at a nudist colony. And one thing about a nudist colony, you can always tell the squares, they're the ones that wear brown shoes and identification bracelets. <laughs> However, I would suggest if you meet a girl at a nudist colony, that you look her straight in the eyes at all times. <laughs> Hi there. Long time no see. Care for a game of volleyball? <laughs> Simon says. <laughs> I seem to have lost my Congressional Medal of Honor here. So, uh, I'm kind of new around here. What do you do with the keys when you lock the car? I keep twirling them around on my finger.